Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, well, I've um, been thinking about something for a little while, and um, of course, you guys know that last year I had my ham radio license with my call sign Victor Echo 2 Zulu Zulu India, and of course, I had a transceiver already, which is a FT450 that, you know, does a, does a job at, at making contacts, and I mean, I made several contacts with it. It has a glitch sometimes when after a certain time that it's being used, it seems to have problems keying up on, especially on the higher bands like 15, uh, 12, and 10 meters. And it kind of makes noise rather than actually broadcast, um, you know, my voice. So I think there's something wrong with it after, you know, when I use it after a certain amount of time. Um, so... That was one of the factors that made me, you know, think about probably getting something else. And I thought I wanted to have something more modern also as a transceiver. So I've made my choice. I've actually purchased this FT, the Yesu FT4, uh, sorry, the Yesu FTDX10, which is highly regarded as one of the top transceivers. Uh, with the 100 watts of transmit, and it's basically a hybrid radio, an SDR receiver, transceiver, basically. So it's purchased uh, from Radio World Canada, and I will be getting this probably this week. Um, what I thought I will do is, on this channel, the shortwave channel, I will actually review it, but as a receiver. So I will tune around the bands, utilities, I will make some videos, a lot of videos with it, and you guys will see it in action and listening to shortwave stations. And so, um, and I'll be on the receive side on international broadcast, stuff like that. I'll actually be using it on uh, the MLA 30 also to, you know, see the performance with that. So this is going to be interesting, I think, for, um, you know, the receive purpose uh, and see how good of a receiver this transceiver is actually for something else than just amateur radio. So that will be videos made on this side, which will, like I said, be receive only. But you guys know that I have a, I used to have a UHF VHF channel, and that UHF VHF channel is changed to the Victor Echo 2 Zulu Zulu India channel. I wanted to kind of transform it into my amateur radio side. I've not been doing a lot lately on it, and I do want to keep it alive and do stuff. Well, there, I will actually also review this radio, but as a transceiver, giving my um, opinion of, you know, how it transmits, how it works, and the menus and the stuff. Possibly making also a series of videos on how to use it, because it is a very complex radio. And I know a lot of people have a hard time getting through all the features, and, you know. So I think that's going to be a nice start to you know, reactivating my uh, VE2ZZI channel. So uh, I'll be actually posting the link to my other channel here, the VE2ZZI channel, if you want to join. And uh, like I said, on this channel, it'll be reviewed as a receiver and on the other channel as a transceiver. So can't wait to get this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, this will be my main transceiver for years to come, probably. Um, once you get, you know, and, and spend a lot of money like this on something, uh, you eventually will, you know, you, you kind of just want to uh, want to, uh, to to keep it as long as possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.